in response to a strike by health unions at government hospitals across the country. The Sri Lankan army has been deployed to maintain essential services and ensure uninterrupted patient care. Lieutenant General Vikram Lianage, the army commander, based on a request made by the country's health ministry, issued instructions to security forces commanders to prepare troops for deployment as needed. Nearly 500 soldiers are currently involved in maintaining critical operations. Lieutenant General Lianage has emphasized the need for swift and efficient action requesting security force commanders to prepare additional troops for deployment in case of further disruptions. Sri Lanka's healthcare system is facing widespread disruption following a wave of strikes by various medical professionals triggered by a recent decision to increase doctors' allowances. The catalyst for the unrest is a cabinet decision, granting doctors a hefty 35,000 rupee bump in their disturbance, availability and transport allowance, bringing it to a total of 70,000 rupees. This move sparked immediate discontent among other healthcare workers, including paramedics, lab technicians, pharmacists and radiologists, who also demanded a similar 35,000 rupee stipend. The Joint Front of Professions Supplementary to Medicine, a coalition of 10 healthcare unions, announced plans to join the ongoing strike for a period of 48 hours with effect from 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Public health inspectors, entomological officers, school dental therapists and a range of other healthcare professionals are taking a united stand by joining the strike. The Midwives Association held a press conference in Narayanpeter demanding that the government extend the allowance currently offered to doctors to other healthcare professionals as well. Healthcare professionals, including minor staff at hospitals, launched a token strike in Sri Lanka on Thursday. The action, which began at 6 a.m. today, will continue until 8 a.m. tomorrow and it seeks to highlight their demand for a stipend similar to the 35,000 rupee recently granted to doctors.